by a vote of six to one. Jonathan, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, man. Jonathan Bennett. Yep. First to go. Uh huh. What happened? Uh, first of all, nailed it. It was <laughs> perfect. Um, secondly, don't have Olympic gold medalist Ryan Lochte pick you as his pick to be in the first competition of Big Brother because you will get the biggest target on your back. I mean, it was, I'm so glad because I love Ryan so much and we became best friends and so I have a friend for life. But when you have an Olympic swimmer, athlete, uh, you know, gold medalist as your partner, it just, it, people are gonna come after you and that's what happened. And uh, you know, I'm okay with that. I should have I should have picked Dina and put her up on the block. I should have done that and you know what? I just can't do that because I know I need to protect her because you know, you, she's, she's like a mama. You gotta protect Mama Lohan in the house. A, Lindsay would come after me and you don't want Lindsay to come after you. So like, Lohan, if you're watching, Lindsay, I saved mama as much as I could but now she's on her own so I hope she wins. She's got a few more weeks in there, yeah, hopefully. Got, yeah. <laughs> I think she would win. Like, what if What if the genius part of all this is that Dina Lohan wins Celebrity Big Brother? Like, come on. I will be watching every week. Genius. To see what happens. Do you know who the one vote that wasn't for you was? No, I don't. Who was it? Dina. Dina? Dina, I love you. You can't even watch this. She's locked away in the house. It doesn't <laughs> even matter. Whatever, Dina. Um, yes, that is awesome. But you know, it's really shocking because those girls, they're interesting, you know? It was it was like a real life Mean Girls in the house. I was like having flashbacks to being <laughs> on the set of Mean Girls in the Celebrity Big Brother house. So it was, uh, it was interesting. And you know, like Dina came to me and literally just goes, those girls are Mean Girls, watch out. And she was right, mama always knows. Don't align with them. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you have any inkling today that this was gonna happen, that you were gonna be out the door? I really thought that Joey was gonna go home. And then he was safe, and I was like, whoa. And I was like, well then, oh, I have to walk, I'm, I'm going home, great. Like, it was, uh, it was really interesting. But now you get to go home. I get to go home. And watch all of this yep. play out. Who do you think is the next big target in that house? I think the biggest target is either Lolo or Tay Tay. And I would say Ryan because he's a threat, but Lolo has just done, ticked off a lot of people in there. She, her attitude is not cute right now in that house and I think people are gonna come after her. Okay. I think for the good of the house, one of the, one of the explosive energies in there needs to get out, in my opinion. Okay, okay. Looking ahead, there's still a lot of game left to play. Yeah. But if you had to call it right now, who wins this? Honestly, I think Dina Lohan's gonna win Celebrity Big Brother. And you know what? She has been there for her kids for so many years. She has always put the focus on all of her children and making them have so much success and lifting them up for so many years that it wouldn't be great if Dina wins and it kind of comes back to her and this is her moment to shine because she's let her kids shine so much that maybe this is her turn. We're kind of getting to meet Dina for the first yeah. time. So, hey, it would be cherry on top of this experience. Yeah. You told Julie this was the greatest experience of your life. Yeah. Why? It's the greatest and the worst experience of my life. I'm not gonna lie, it's insane, but it's also amazing. Like, when do you ever have you know what, 15 days since we went into Quester, where you're not allowed to use your phone or talk to anyone else. Like, you learn a lot about yourself. And it's amazing, but it's also awful. At the, in a, like, not bad, just like, you're stuck in a house with all these people you don't know, and there's tempers and angers and energy and negativity all being thrown at you. So you have to get your armor on and learn how to deflect all that. And so you learn a lot about yourself. And so it's amazing, but also like, I got to swing from the rafters like Tarzan against Olympic gold medalist Ryan Lochte. Like, how cool is that? You got to check off a lot of Big Brother things. I know you're Big a fan brother. of this yeah, game. Yeah, huge. And I got to eat slop. <laughs> like, I rang the bell because, he, let's go back for a second. First of all, let's Rewind. just go back. Jonathan Bennett has been in the house for 10 days. What has he done? Won the HOH competition, 
lost an HOH competition, played a veto ceremony, lost, or played a veto competition, lost the veto competition, went on slop, played another veto competition, lost it, has been on the block, I think the longest ever in history of Celebrity Big Brother, <laughs> I've been on the block the longest. Like, talk about a jam-packed 10 days. You can't do any more in 10 days. Like, I've done everything there is to do. You did it all. Yeah. Is there anything you would have done differently, though? Other than you said kind of... Maybe not align with Ryan right maybe away. Maybe don't align <laughs> with the biggest target in the house within the first four hours. That could be a better gameplay strategy. But the only thing I would have done different is what I tried to do, which is talk less, smile more. But at the same time, I'm who I am. And I'm going to tell everyone everything and talk to people because I like people. And I like making people laugh. And I like talking to them. And I like being likable to people because I watch. I want everyone to be happy. And so there are a lot of moments I could have not, you know, given them the answers to things, but I didn't. I chose to be a teammate. And clearly, they don't understand what a team <laughs> is. So when y'all get out, we're going to school you on teamwork. All right? Another Big Brother thing you got to check off was a yeah. major twist. Yes. Scaramucci. Never in the history of my life would I say that I showered next to <laughs> Anthony Scaramucci. Like, I'd be in the shower talking to him while he's shaving, and it was became the most normal thing in the world. And I'm like, wait, did I just have a full-blown conversation with Anthony Scaramucci while he shaves and I shower in a bathroom? Like, that <laughs> is just bizarre. And was couldn't have been a nicer, amazing guy like I was so glad to meet him for him and not what you read about him you know it, it was really cool but he wasn't even a house guest <laughs> big brother you're good you're really good do you have any predictions for what those future breaking news celebrity news twists are gonna be my future prediction is that I'm gonna come back and there's gonna be a twist where someone that's been voted off number one gets to re-enter halfway through and make a decision could you imagine that twist? Okay, put it out in the universe, make it happen. You get to go home yep. to your real life right yep. after this. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you're gonna do? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> no, I'm gonna um, call Scaramucci and tell him that he got me. And then I am going to, oh, gosh, I don't know what I'm, what am I gonna do right now? It, I've never, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I should eat something that isn't slop. That'd be a good you start. Go. You just get to be free. You're I'm going to turn free. on my cell phone. There you go. Wow, that'll be fun. <laughs> if you had to go back and do it all again, would you? Yes. Yes. yes? <laughs> you say that with some I think trepidation. I would. I can't tell if I would do it again or not. I think I would. Yes, I would do it again. But as far as like... Winners, I, if Ryan, you'll never see this till you get out. Bro, watch your back. The Mean Girls are coming for you. Watch out. <laughs>